seagrass. These plants provide shelter and food for a diverse community of marine organisms. Called the lungs of the seas, seagrass cleans polluted water and protects coasts from erosion. But seagrass can do even more. Seagrass binds nearly twice as much of the climate killer CO2 as forests on land, and 35 times faster. Scientists have discovered that one reason seagrass is so efficient at binding CO2 is its partnership with symbiotic bacteria. The plant uses the energy from sunlight to fix CO2 in the seawater into sugars. In the roots of the plant, symbiotic bacteria bind nitrogen from the sediment into ammonium. Then the partners swap. The bacteria give the seagrass the ammonia, which it needs as a fertilizer. In return, the seagrass gives the bacteria sugars, so they have energy to produce even more biofertilizer. The success of this symbiosis has now been shown for the first time in seagrass by researchers at the Max Planck Institute in Bremen, using new and innovative methods. Their results? Seagrass is a powerful ally in the fight against climate change. Seagrass deposit large amounts of sugar into their meadows, forming one of the largest piles of sugar on Earth. Within these sugars, the climate killer CO2 is safely stored away from the atmosphere. These vast sugar stocks are not eaten by bacteria because seagrass excrete phenolics into their meadows. These antimicrobials prevent bacteria and other microorganisms from degrading the sugars and converting them back into the climate killer CO2. This means the seagrass protects both itself and the climate. If microorganisms could degrade the sugars, the seagrass habitat would quickly deteriorate. The global destruction of seagrass meadows must stop, not only to protect the many inhabitants of these unique ecosystems. Humans need seagrass to combat global warming.